Hello, this is Liz. Welcome to my little urban homestead. I'm going to do some dehydrating today and what I do is I do some cooked rice, dehydrate it and then grab a handful, uh, rehydrate with bone broth or chicken stock and that goes along with Mason's meat for his evening meal. So in here I have two and a half cups of long grain rice, the cheap long grain rice. It doesn't need anything extra special or anything like that. So to that I'm going to add five cups of water. One. So I'm now going to put this on my stove, um, bring it to a boil, give it a quick stir, then leave it to simmer until all the water's been ab absorbed and I'll come back to you then. It's had about 12 minutes and it's absorbed all the water. So what I do now is I put it in a dish just to let it cool down some before I load my trays up and the absorption method is very good it's the right amount for it so I just let it cool down there before I load my trays now it's had some cooling down time, I'm going to put them on these dehydrator trays. I have got this very fine mesh which will prevent the rice falling through because you can see there are fairly big holes in it. So the mesh will prevent the rice from falling through. You can use um, baking parchment um, and this the uh, dehydrator I've got. I can also use cling film if I hadn't got these. But I can't put liquid on because there are holes in there. But, but it'll be good for the rice. So I'm just going to spread it around. As this is the Al Cheapy Long Ring Rice. It's clumps together a bit, but it doesn't matter what, um, if it clumps together, it's for the dog anyway. So I'll load the other trays up now and then come back to you. That's what I've got left after filling up five trays. I could put this on the sixth, but what's the point? He's going to have his meal in a few hours, so I'm going to put it ready in his bowl and he can have it for his tea. So that's going up in the fridge for his tea. This is my new dehydrator. I have one tray left over so actually I can get more on it than I could my old one and as you can see the other trays are loaded up with, with the rice and they're about one grain thick but close it turn it on now this one is worse than the other one because my other one, temperature wise, I could set it like 51 degrees. This one only goes in increments of five. So power. Temperature, I want it, see, 
it to go to 55 or 60 so it only goes in increments of 5 degrees <laughs> it's 30 degrees celsius and I'll set it for I could set it for whatever time I wanted to because this does do a longer timer than the other one used to so I don't know what the longest time 24 hours oh no I don't want it 24 hours but I'll be coming back to it and I'll sort it out because I'll come back to it during the day and then I'll show you what I do when it's uh, dehydrated this is one of the trays of the rice and you can see how it's done. I did let it run for most of the day because it was uh, late afternoon when I started this off. And it was nearly ready by the time I was going to go to bed at night. So I turned it off and then turned it back on again this morning to finish it off. And now it's, it's all completely dry it, and these Silicon mats are very, very good. Dip it in. As you can see, the other tray, another tray looks exactly the same. And there's no sticking to these mats at all. And I didn't wash the starch off or anything like that for the rice before it was dehydrated. Well, I'll finish these other trays. Show you how much I've got. So much better, it's like an half an hour job before. So there we have this about two pints of cooked dehydrated rice. I cook it with water so that when I rehydrate it, I can rehydrate it with water again cold or hot. Hot obviously means that uh, it's going to take a lot less time to rehydrate but for mason I use chicken stock or bone broth and let it slowly hydrate in the bottom of the fridge during the day. Sorry about that I forgot to press uh, record. This is now the rice hydrating with a can of my bone broth and that will last a, a few days so I'll keep doing this every morning which is a lot simpler than actually cooking rice for him every day there are my trays I would wash them but I have got another batch of kale to go in the dehydrator so I'm just going to put them straight on these trays. Thank you. Bye. It's a perfect